Save Our Planet. UN Secretary General calls for urgent halt to biodiversity loss. Speaking on Friday, May 21st, for the annual commemoration of the International Day for Biodiversity, United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon warned that the current rates of flora and fauna loss are pushing ecosystems to points beyond which they can no longer sustain life. Among the actions already recommended to reverse these declines is reducing livestock raising, already recognized by the UN as a significant cause of biodiversity loss. The organization's most recent third global Biodiversity Outlook report goes on to suggest decreasing meat consumption, also highlighting the need to remove subsidies and promote market incentives that encourage healthier food options and use of natural resources. Secretary General Ban stated, Let us reflect on the root causes of biodiversity decline and take action to arrest it. Let us adjust policies and mindsets to reflect the true value of species and habitats. Let us recognize that biodiversity is life, our life. Let us act now to preserve it before it is too late. We need a focused action. We know what we need to do. We know what works. The time for delay is over. The time for delivering is now. We join in concern, Your Excellency, as we also laud the work of the United Nations and all scientists working to raise awareness of our critical global state. Let us heed the urgency of our time and turn to the life-saving plant-based lifestyle to restore the treasured life forms of our world. Supreme Master Ching Hai has often echoed the imperative need for humanity to protect nature's creations on Earth, as during an October 2009 video conference in Hong Kong. A lot of the ecological and environmental news today is not very good due to the effects of global warming. We hear about the glaciers melting, water becoming more scarce, raising food shortages, raising food prices with over one billion people going hungry every day, animals becoming extinct and many species gone forever, and so on and so forth. But even though our time is running out, we do still have time to save this beautiful planet and restore it to original splendor, or even more so, if all turn to vegan diet. As it has already been mentioned, recent research shows that more than 50% of emissions which heat up our planet, which put our lives in danger, which put our world into the perilous situation of mass extinction, is from livestock industry. The solution is at hand for each and every one of us, which is simply to forego animal products and become vegan. One small change is no big deal. Save Our Planet, New Species of Mammals and Reptiles Discovered in Indonesia on an expedition to commemorate this year's designated International Year of Biodiversity, scientists exploring the pristine wilderness of Indonesia's Foja Mountains found several animals never seen before. These included what is believed to be the world's smallest wallaby, a long-nosed tree frog, a multicolored pigeon, and a yellow-eyed gecko. The trekking scientists represented U.S.-based Conservation International and the National Geographic Society, with additional support for the expedition coming from the U.S.-based Smithsonian Institution, as well as the Indonesian Institute of Sciences. Commenting on the encouraging nature of these new gifts of nature, especially given the generally dire state of the planet's biodiversity, Conservation International researcher Bruce Vila stated, while animals and plants are being wiped out across the globe at a pace never seen in millions of years, the discovery of these absolutely incredible forms of life is much needed positive news. Places like these represent a healthy future for all of us and show that it is not too late to stop the current species extinction crisis. Bravo, Dr. Beeler, and participating Conservation International and National Geographic Society scientists. And many thanks, Smithsonian Institution and Indonesia Institute of Sciences, for your gracious support as we share in the celebration of biodiversity on our Earth. May these and all species continue to grace our world as we protect their cherished habitats in all lands.
Save Our Planet, in partnership with the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, a team from the U.S.-based Massachusetts Institute of Technology designs an eco-conscious commercial aircraft that can operate on up to 70% less fuel and up to 75% reduced pollutant levels. Save Our Planet, sponsored with donations from Denmark, organizations World Wildlife Fund and Traffic, launched the Don't Buy Trouble campaign in Olak or Vietnam and other Asian countries' airports, using illustrative posters and replicas of illegal products to raise awareness among travelers about wildlife laws and protection. Save Our Planet. Research conducted at University of Washington, USA, concludes that newly constructed hospitals could save up to 60% in energy usage by implementing various techniques that reduce carbon footprint as well as operating costs. Save Our Planet. Villagers in Changning County of Sichuan Province evacuate their homes due to increasing areas of sinking ground that have created more than 40 giant holes up to 30 meters deep, which experts say may be due to decreasing groundwater levels. 